my subscribers. So I'm out fishing. I am in Texas and I'm gonna be trout fishing here on the Guadalupe River. I'm actually at a fly shop called, I think, Action Angler. Uh, you can pay some money here uh, to park and then they have a walkway down to go fish. I have not done trout fishing here in, in uh, Texas, but I hear this is pretty good. They stock it. Um, usually in the summer, a lot of the fish will die. Some of them hold over. So there are some larger fish. Most of it is gonna be stocked fish. Apparently they're in the you know 14 to 18 range. Uh, so hopefully it's good. I have, like I said, I have not done this before. Um, we just had a recent major storm come through. It was very cold. I'm sure all of you know about it. Um, if you um, have heard the news, um, so there's a lot of freeze, a lot of a lot of ice, a lot of snow. Um, it almost never happens here, uh, but we'll see what that does to the fishing. I figure, um, you know, I had had some time to get out and bass um, pretty much everything is not happening down in corpus if i was going to go down to corpus a lot of the fish died um, they're floating on top of the water it's just really sad um, it just they're not used to those temperatures so i'm going to go ahead and go inside the shop and you guys can check it out and it's a small shop but it's pretty cool um, they've got some stuff um, let me get my mask on here we go mind if you're on camera nope. <laughs> okay I don't know how you feel about that anyway guys they've got I mean it's a it's a nice little fly shop we've got a bunch of stuff a um, bunch of flies here and it's very similar to some of the fishing that I've done out in Colorado and New Mexico um, small little midges that type of stuff so uh, apparently right now um, later in the uh, summer a little more bass fishing but cool little shop and what was your name? Grace. Grace. This is Grace. <laughs> um, so yeah, guys, come check that out. Action Angler, right? Yep. All right. And uh, anyway, I will see you guys out in the river. It is very windy. You might not hear me a little later. I am in a protected area right now. Hopefully it stays that way from the wind. It's very pretty here. Rocks and cliffs and all that nice flowing water. It is very shallow. And they were saying that they didn't get a lot of water, so you gotta look for deep spots. I've got patch rubber legs to a top secret midge, size I think 22, top secret midge. And they said go small. Granted, small here, might that might be too small, but we'll see. I'm gonna give it a shot. So guys, I put on one of these foam indicators because they're light bites right now. At least that's what they're saying. Um, thingamabobs are probably not the best bet, they say. Here I listen to the experts. This looks like a little rock. I don't know if it's gonna hold anything, but um, I don't see anything behind it. But. Now I'm fishing my 23 PS rod. By risen and um, I love this rod guys really good rod it's a nice nymphing rod nice stiff rod I mean, we still got icicles up there. Get out of the sun. You can see ice coming off. I haven't seen any fish yet. Might not be to the spots I need to be thinking behind that rock, possibly. Well, guys, you know what I forgot? My net. I can't believe I forgot the net. For trout fishing, I really want to have a net. I want to handle the fish. But I'll be really careful. Here's a deep spot, finally. It's the first deep spot I've seen. All right, let me lower my uh, flies here. I like this little thing. You can 
jump and shit. Into the fatter part. It should hold, at least for a little while. So we've got a little trench going right here. Or not a trench, like a ledge. I'm trying to be kind of close to that ledge. Get the flies deep. I got a size 24 midge on there, so. It's got to be the same one he, he kept hooking. It's got the hole in his mouth. <laughs> well, guys, I just hooked one, but he got off. Size 24 midge. Guys, I got a good one on here. I have to follow him down stream. He just jumped, but I missed, missed it. Ah! So guys, I ended up tightening the drag while fighting the fish because he was running and I wasn't expecting to bust off like that. It is a very smooth drag, but I think I over tightened it and that was the issue. Don't tighten your drag while fighting a fish. Do it beforehand like this. See, I'm setting the drag now. He ran off and boom. There we go. Ooh. Oh, oh my gosh. Ah. <laughs> that was a decent one. I'm all barbless here and it just kind of rusty with fishing this small stuff, guys been way too long. What, a year and a half, I think, since I've fished the tiny stuff. There we go. This one's not as big, but decent fish.
Oh, I really wish I brought my net. There we go. Look at this, guys. That is not a bad fish. Come on. He swallowed that hook. This is... If I can't find it. Oh, there it is. There we go. See a fish. That's a nice one. Texas trout, guys. On that little RS2. But keep them wet, right? Don't need a net, I guess, if we're gonna keep them wet. What was that? 17 inches, 16 inches, somewhere around there. Fat though, real nice and fat. When nymphing guys, you wanna, you don't wanna cast real hard. It's a real easy cast, you're not going too far. You know, you'll wrap your flies around the, the line if you cast too hard. Um, you can roll cast most of it like that. But if you're gonna cast, you wanna pick up and see how easy I'm going. I'm not doing it very hard. It's just real easy. And then, when your line is angled like that, you want to try to get your line above the indicator so it doesn't drag and pull. But you also don't want too much slack because if you do get a fish to take it, you gotta set the hook. See how I'm pulling in a little bit. Keep up with it. Keep it above. Move the indicator a little bit, but you really want that really even drift. Let's see if we can't find another spot. All right guys, so I ended up coming around to the other side here. I'm not sure I like this side any better. I can see a little better into the water. Guys, so I came over back to the same spot I was at Someone was telling me they saw some trout way up that way, rising, but I didn't see any, so I figured I'd come back, nymph again. Kind of got excited about fishing dry fly, but same spot here as I was fishing. It was doing pretty good. Plus, I got a little more of a back cast here. There, I was hitting all the trees behind me on that side, and here there's a lot more room. Not a lot, but some. More than over there. Well guys, I fell. Pretty hard. I was trekking through this area. Bruised. It's part of my hand. Cut. Luckily, not a whole lot of damage. Um, just a little bit. Just trekking up from pretty far down there along this back edge here. Slipped on a rock and almost had a problem. Luckily I didn't hit my head or anything. Ugh. Kinda hurt. Rod's okay, at least. All right, where can I go that it's shallow? 
It wasn't rolling, unfortunately, when I fell. It'd been cool to get. I really bruised my hand, though. My wrist. Oh. I'm getting too old for this, guys. <laughs> Man, I just smeared blood all over my rod. A lot of it. All right guys, so now I'm streamer fishing. I walked real far up there and I didn't see any good holes. This looks like the best one, really. I keep on coming back to it. Maybe further downstream, there's some good stuff. I'm not sure. But since I caught a few here, I figure let's switch it up and throw a streamer, see if I can't bring in that big boy that's in here. Maybe I can entice him to bite again. I do see some bugs on top of the water, but not a single trout is rising for them. I'm just kind of swinging this. It's just a little olive leech thing. The fishing slowed down. I haven't had a bite since that last fish that I caught. I haven't really seen any better spots, but that sure was fun. I haven't nymphed in a long time. I haven't uh, caught trout in a very long time. And just happy to be out, guys. I'm heading home. I'm tired. It's not that late. It's probably around 2.30. But I'm, I'm tired. My back hurts. I'm falling. My hand hurts. It hurts to cast the fly rod. And I'm done. But I had a great time. So thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't checked out Risen Fly, definitely check, check them out. They make great gear. Um, I love this rod. Now this is one of their more expensive rods. It's kind of their flagship, uh, flagship uh, uh, trout rod, freshwater rod, but um, it's really good. Uh, it's about, I think 300 bucks, somewhere around there, 280. And then, but they make $100 rods that are also very good. Um, uh, just a whole their whole lineup is awesome so definitely check them out um, they make reels as well this is a really good reel really smooth drag um, I, just, I really like their gear and for the price it's just hard to beat so um, use my discount code McFly angler when you check out go to www.risenfly.com and Again, use my discount code. You'll get 15% off of anything you buy in their store. They have great hooks and everything, so check them out. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you guys need to buy some flies, let me know. I do sell flies. Um, watch my other videos and subscribe if you haven't. Hit the like button if you could. Comment, please. I, I try my best to comment back to every single person that comments to me. Um, can't always get to everyone, but I do my best, so please um, comment there and I'll try to get back to you. Anyway, I will see you guys on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.